Hello friends, welcome to MSFT Webcast. Once you have successfully installed the Hyper-V server rule on a Windows Server 2016 computer and once you have created at least one virtual switch in the Hyper-V, it is now time to start creating the virtual machine. In this video tutorial, you will learn the steps to create your first virtual machine in a Windows Server 2016 Hyper-V computer. In the last video, we have successfully installed and configured Hyper-V server role on our this Windows Server 2016 computer. And in this video, we want to create one virtual machine in our Hyper-V. To create a new virtual machine, you have to open Hyper-V Manager. And for that, you have to open Server Manager and on Server Manager console, you have to click on Tools and then you have to select Hyper-V Manager. That will open Hyper-V Manager. And on a Hyper-V Manager, select your server. In our case, this is our local server. And as you can see, we do not have any virtual machine created on our Hyper-V server. So let's create first virtual machine on our Hyper-V server. To do that, you have to right click on your server name and then you have to select new and then you have to select virtual machine. That will start a wizard to create a new virtual machine. You can also start this wizard by clicking on new and then clicking on a virtual machine. That will start the same wizard which we can start it from here. On uh, before you begin screen, click on next. Now here you can specify name and location. Now for this demonstration, I'm going to give a name Win7x64. This is the name of our virtual machine. And this is the location where this virtual machine is going to store. If you want to specify the different location, that time you have to select this checkbox and you have to browse the path. For this demonstration, I'm going to store on a D drive, sorry, E drive, and on a E drive, I'm going to create a new folder and give a name Hyper-V. Select the folder. So we want to store our Windows 7 virtual machine on this location. Okay. Click on next. Now here, you can select the generation of this virtual machine. By default, selected options is generation 1. You can read the brief overview information about generation 1 and uh, generation 2 virtual machine. And you can also see when the message is there, once virtual machine has been created, you cannot change its generation type. For this demonstration, I'm going to select the generation 1 virtual machine. And then I'm going to click on next button. Now on this console, we have to choose how much memory you would like to give to this virtual machine. This choice will be dependent on how much you have available. The more the better. If you have a limited physical RAM installed on your server, do not select use dynamic memory for this virtual machine box. For this demonstration, I will specify 512 MB RAM to our Windows 7 virtual machine. Let's click on next. On the configure networking windows, choose the virtual switch from the connection drop down list. Okay, let's uh, click on next. Now on this console, it is asking us to specify the virtual disk. If you want to create a new virtual disk for this virtual machine, you have to select the first box. And if you have an exiting virtual disk and you want to attach to this virtual machine, that time you have to select second box. And if you want to create virtual disk later, that time you can select third options. But for this video demonstration, uh, we are going to select first box, create a new virtual disk. And the name of our virtual disk will be bin7x64.vhdx. And the location will be e colon slash hyper v slash win 7 x 64 slash virtual hard disk and the size will be 127 gp this is the default size for any virtual machine in windows server 2016 hyper v you can use maximum size of 64 tb in windows server 2016 hyper v but for this demonstration we are happy with 127 gp let's click on next you can install an operating system right now if you have access to the setup media or you can install it later on by selecting first box install an operating system later. For this demonstration, we are going to select the first box and then we are going to click on next button. Here you can review your selection like you create a virtual machine with the name Win7x64, generation type is generation 1, memory is 512 MB and we want to create a new hard disk on this location okay let's click on finish to complete the new virtual machine creation wizard okay here we go now we have a one virtual machine on our hyper server if you want to change some of the settings of virtual machine 
that time you have to right click on your virtual machine and then you have to select settings options okay here uh, from this you can change the amount of RAM as per your requirement uh, from here you can uh, assign number of virtual processors to your uh, virtual machine this is the uh, path of our virtual hard disk if you want to create new or if you want to attach existing virtual disk you can attach it from here now I'm going to click on DVD drive because we want to install operating system in our Win 7 x64 VM and if you have an ISO image uh, that time you have to select this checkbox and you have to select the path but for this video demonstration uh, I mount the image of Windows 7 to our this Windows Server 2016 physical computer and we want to use this image to install Windows 7 so for that I'm going to select this box physical CD DVD drive and the drive editor is drive D. Now let's uh, click on apply and click on OK. Select virtual machine, right click on it and uh, click on start. Okay, let's uh, connect to this virtual machine. And here you can see installation is uh, started by using the image which we specify in uh, virtual machine setting. Now you can install Windows 7 in virtual machine same as you install on your physical computer. Let's click on next. Let's click on install now button. Select I accept the license terms and click on next. Select custom for clean installation. Click on drive options. Click on new to create new partition and click on apply click on ok that will create one partition ok select the partition and click on next this installation process will take some time to complete and once the installation process completes this virtual machine will be restarted. and after end of that installation process you have newly installed windows 7 virtual machine so that's the end of this uh, video tutorial on how to set up virtual machine and install guest operating system in Windows Server 2016 Hyper-V. If you find this video helpful, then don't forget to like this video, subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching this video.